Hey Glam Fam, Linwood here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to do a fishtail braid on this hair here. Um, if you're interested in that, just keep watching, and if you enjoyed this video, feel free to let us know by leaving a comment in the comment box down below or clicking the like button. Now I began by putting the hair in a ponytail because it's honestly the easiest way to learn how to do a fishtail braid. Um, there are other ways of course, but we'll get into that at a later point in time. I do have tutorials on how to do this down to the scalp as well, but if you don't have this down yet, we gotta get this down first. So we're gonna take our ponytail and begin by separating it in half. So I'm just going to go ahead and separate it in half, uh, feeling for what feels pretty even on both sides. Okay, we're gonna take one piece of it in each hand. And then from there to start the braid, and I will tell you, this braid is deceptively simple. It is super easy, even though it looks complex. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come from underneath and I'll just take a piece. So what I'm doing when uh, I'm talking about that, let me turn her a bit, is I'm literally coming from under the hair, down in here, and then wrapping around. Okay, so when you see me do that, that's what's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and come from underneath. You can start on either side that you want. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that piece and pull it over to the other side. And we're gonna add it into that side there. So I've got it on my left side. Now, of course, if you started with your left, you would take it over, put it on your right side. From there, I'm going to go ahead and grab a small piece from the left side, bring it on over and add it to the right. Now you wanna make sure that these are small pieces because if they're big pieces, your braid will end up looking like a regular braid and not like a fishtail braid. So the small pieces are very much necessary. Now of course here, that one had a couple bubbles in it so I just decided to smooth it out before I brought it on across. Picking from the back side again, I'm gonna go ahead and bring that one on over. And as I need to tighten, I can literally just pull like that and place my thumb right in the center. We're gonna go ahead and take another piece from the back side, bring it on over to the left, and then take another piece from the left, bring it on over to the right. Now, hopefully you can kind of see how this is beginning to come together already and what makes this different from a standard braid. So this can actually be done in like a French method down to the scalp as well as in a Dutch method down to the scalp. I have tutorials for both, so I'll link them both in the description box. But we're just gonna continue this process. Now I will say this braid is not difficult, but it is tedious. So uh, if you feel like, oh my gosh, this is taking forever, that's normal, especially when you first start out. Don't give up on it. And remember, I'm not starting from the side here. Cause then see how it doesn't look like it's coming from the back. It looks like it's coming from right here. You want to start all the way from the back of your section, grab that hair and then bring it over. That way it looks like it's coming from the back. Okay. Now you can see my hands are both close. If I was holding down here, see how the whole thing begins to look more loose. I want it to look snug. Now it's all gonna be based upon how you want your braid to look. So if you like for it to look loose, then by all means, hold further away from your braid. If you want it to look more snug, hold up closer to your braid up there. So it's not overly complex here. I wish I had like tons of methods and things for you other than to tell you, try to stay as consistent as possible. You want your subsection sizes to be about the same the whole way down. That one's a little big actually. You want it to be about the same the whole way down. That way you don't have like ginormous pieces on one side or on one portion of the braid and smaller pieces on another. It allows you to keep that same consistent flow and look all the way down and throughout. Um, especially if your client or if your child or yourself uh, have like really long, long hair, this can take a while. So I would say if you're doing this, even though it seems like it shouldn't take that long, give yourself at least a good 15 minutes to be able to knock this out. Um, just because most of the time, it's gonna take a little bit longer than you anticipate to get it done. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue on forward. And you can see how even though I'm talking to you through this process, I have yet to slow down and say, okay, well, hey, let me stop and, you know, kind of explain this. No, I'm gonna keep on moving because you don't wanna be here all day trying to do this braid. Okay, so you guys can kind of see how it's coming together here. Now, 
Now the other nice thing about this, and I'll show you once I get down to the bottom, is you can fan it out and make it look even more detailed. So I'm gonna go ahead, now that you've got the general idea, I'm gonna go ahead and skip down to the bottom, and then I'll show you how to fan it out for more. Okay, so once you've gotten to the bottom of that section, I literally just took the pieces. So I've got uh, my right piece here, my left piece. I always just kind of spin one piece and place them behind the other. That way it brings it together nice and collectively. And then from there, go ahead and fasten it with a hair elastic. Now, of course, you can go down further than I did here. That's entirely up to you. I'm only wrapping twice, and that's because I don't want it to be too tight. So I want to show you how you can take it from a fishtail braid like this to then being able to fan this out. So we're just going to lightly go in and lightly pull on each of these layers of the braid. And what this does is it's going to make your braid fuller and thicker looking. And it just kind of exaggerates those details just a bit more. It makes the braid look more kind of disheveled and messy, but intricate and neat at the same time. It's difficult to explain. But you guys can kind of see here how it takes it from looking like, oh, okay, that's this perfect braid to kind of giving it more of a larger than life look. So of course you can go for either one, but this is how you do a fishtail braid. The nice thing is if you've done it correctly, it'll look like one underneath as well so no matter which way that hair flips it gives you the same look if you like this video let me know by leaving a thumbs up in the or by leaving a comment or leaving a thumbs up on the video by clicking the like button uh, if you are interested in more tutorials like this or videos that deal with hair care uh, hair advice hair tips all of that in general please feel free to hit the subscribe button we post things like that on a regular basis here on this channel until next time you guys take care god bless and stay glam you know we love you boo bye